What is it, Hubert? Nothing in particular. Just taking a moment to admire your skill with the bow. I'm willing to bet you could put an arrow through the neck of an enemy general from quite a distance. In fact, to any leader's bodyguard, I would go so far as to say you pose the most dangerous kind of threat. Don't worry your fragile little self. Your lady princess is safe. I wouldn't shoot my employer. I would certainly hope not. But there are some mercenaries to whom a contract means little. And you would do well to remember that Lady Edelgard is no mere princess. You should take care to learn the proper form of address for your employer. I said lady. I already told you, I'm not going to break the princess's contract. What did I just say? Proper address, right. Next time. My patience has limits, you know. For the moment, you may stand in Lady Edelgard's good graces. But if you become a problem, I will not hesitate to eliminate you. You're unstable, Hubert. Be careful who you threaten. I don't take kindly to those who get in the way of my contracts. Is that a threat? Just some advice. That's the last of them. Another threat to Her Majesty? Who's there? It's me. You owe me for that one. Shamir, what are you doing here? Same thing you are, but I'm after a particular target. The dark side of the Knights of Saros is proving troublesome. I should have known, having been one. I was... negligent. I had thought we'd sufficiently thin the numbers of these scum. Seems I was mistaken. In any case, you have my thanks. Save it. Just doing my job. Even so, killing your former allies. Do you feel no remorse whatsoever? You wouldn't, so I ask. You are not me. Answer the question. What's it matter? I owed a debt to Rhea. I served in the Knights of Saros to repay her. I repaid that debt, now I'm here. I'm sure it was considered dishonorable of me to leave, but that's none of my concern. I have no connection to the Saros faith, nor to the ways of Fodlun. <laughs> that's right. You're from Dagda. Well, consider me glad you're on the right side. At least for the time being. You worry too much. Watch out, or it'll be the death of you. All finished. Time to go. You really must stop sneaking up on me, Shamir. And what if I don't? I can take you. Maybe. Either way, it's a waste to fight an ally. We're allies now? I guess I should be more careful with you. Are you sure it was right to kill them? I believe your mistress told you to let them go. That is exactly what I will say I did. But leaving them alive would have been a mistake. I did what had to be done. Is that so? Maybe you're not just some sycophant. It takes guts to disobey a direct order. Lady Edelgard's time is rightfully occupied with a great deal of concern and contemplation. Her affairs are of far greater consequence than a trifle like this. Much rests on the decisions she makes. But little details of this kind happen to be my area of expertise, so I simply handle them. Better that than to burden her with needless debate. Logical through and through, aren't you? That is how I do things. I like people who are thorough. You seem quite thorough in your methods as well. As a rule, I am. Regarding decisions, I planned on leaving Fodlin after completing my contract. But now I'm starting to think I might stay here. Stay here? I'm forced to wonder what your intentions might be. I have no ulterior motives. I've just grown a little fond of you. Excuse me? You've what? someone so intelligent, you're very dense. 
It's not just about you, though. I've learned to like Lady Edelgard and most everyone else here as well. I wouldn't mind staying on to work as your specialist. It's a fine offer. But perhaps we should wait until after the war to discuss it thoroughly. Fair. But you owe me, remember? Not much I can say to that, is there? <laughs>